Hi everyone, welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul, and today we have a special guest. This is Vineet Gupta. He is the Senior Product Line Manager for Western Digital. And Vineet, thank you for stopping by today. Oh, thanks for having us here. No problem. We are here to talk about the WD Sentinel DX4000, which is a storage server uh, meant for small to medium businesses. So this is actually going to be video number one in a two-part video series. Uh, the second part, we are going to go into really, really detailed level of depth. Uh, for this product and go over the setup and installation and how to set up client access and everything like that. Uh, for this video, we're going to kind of keep it a little bit more high level. Uh, we're going to go over the hardware and also what types of uh, users out there might actually be making use of the features of this product. So uh, let's say I am a small to medium business owner. Um, what sort of problems is the DX4000 going to solve for me? Oh, so first of all, um, uh, WD Sentinel uh, DX4000 is, is, a, is a new product. It was launched uh, November of 2011. Uh, and it's a product which is first of the family of uh, network storage servers uh, for small, medium businesses uh, by WD Sentinel. Okay. So small businesses today face uh, many challenges. Uh, and you know, in a, in a digital world today, the explosion of content has actually uh, multiplied that challenge uh, uh, to an enormous uh, length. So things like not only how do I back up my data uh, uh, for all the computers internal uh, in my network, uh, how do I share the data with all the people in the office or outside the office, uh, how do I keep the data secure for off-site uh, back uh, in a form of off-site backup so that in case of a disaster, uh, if uh, my on-premise uh, data were to get compromised, uh, I still have a way to retrieve my data back and then uh, you know still uh, be uh, back in the business uh, as soon as possible so uh, with that wd sentinel is an integrated hardware and software solution uh, which is uh, available to customers today at a very very aggressive price point and very affordable price point so it has a low opex and capex as we said affordable price and uh, low uh, ongoing low to no ongoing uh, cost maintenance cost so our theme for this product is connect protect collaborate uh, connect being easy to set up, easy to manage, protect being enterprise class data protection for the small businesses at a very, very affordable price. Uh, and collaborate being uh, uh, access to the data anywhere, uh, and uh, whether in the office or outside the office, to be able to collaborate on the same information and, and thereby increase the business productivity. So if I'm a small business owner, I have a, you know, 10, 15, 20 um, employees who are working at separate client computers, that's uh, going to allow them to uh, collaborate by storing uh, the data that they're working on on the DX4000. Uh, it's going to allow these data to be protected um, because you can have multiple drives installed with, uh, for instance, different RAID configurations to protect the backup. Also the ability to have the cloud storage, so not just backup locally, but also backup that data um, online via uh, services that are available. Uh, and then also going back to that collaboration um, theme, which is that if you have people working on files separately, um, you know, they might en end up with different versions of those files, but if you can store them in a central location, um, people can both can access those files um, from their client computers and uh, overall just make sure that they don't, you don't end up with a bunch of different versions of different types of files. Precisely. Okay. And um, that said, should we go over some of the hardware features? Yeah, absolutely. So as I said, WD Sentinel DX4000 is an integrated uh, hardware and software solution uh, which is designed to reduce the complexity uh, of for the small businesses in terms of data protection and management of a storage system. Yet it offers powerful capabilities to the uh, customers, the small business customers, and we call it like enterprise uh, class data protection for a small business customers and for a, at a small business price. So to talk about some of the hardware features, it's a four bay uh, storage server uh, which uses three and a half inch uh, uh, drives, but not just any drives we are using our best in class enterprise class storage uh, drives from um, uh, Western Digital, and as you can see, this is our enterprise class three terabyte drive that's being uh, used in this system. Um, the system is built on um, uh, best in class technologies, such as our enterprise class drives, uh, uh, Intel microprocessor, and uh, operating system from uh, Microsoft, which is Windows Storage Server 2008 R2 Essentials. Again, uh, I would like to reiterate, it's not a Linux based. Um, it's not a Linux based NAS. It's a Windows based storage server, and and again. Uh, given that majority of small businesses out there are primarily using Windows uh, operating system in their uh, office networks, uh, this product allows them to seamlessly integrate in their existing network. Uh, and 
start taking advantage of the uh, data production capabilities. So you have some uh, enhanced compatibility there by going with the Windows Server, and uh, definitely a lot of extra features available, especially if you were to compare it to a standard network attached storage device. This actually has an operating system that runs on it. You can log in from a client computer. You can access all those functions. Uh, and then you also have different levels of access that uh, you can get um, based on whether you're connecting internally or you have web access available. Absolutely. Okay. So this product not only provides the, uh, enterprise class data production, but also best in class uh, uh, reliability, high availability, and redundancy. So for instance, uh, what you're seeing in the back of the unit here is uh, we have dual gigabit ethernet, which are by default configured in adaptive fault tolerance or adaptive failover mode, which means that you connect both the ethernet cables. Uh, one loses connectivity for whatever reason. Other one takes over, keeps your server running, keeps your server connected and available. Likewise, we have dual power support, which we believe is, is unique to this product. Product, uh, in this class, right? Uh, again, it's uh, uh, for uh, failover in case uh, one of the power uh, supply fails, uh, the other power supply uh, takes over and keeps your system available, keeps your system running. And what you're also seeing in the back of the unit is uh, two USB 3.0 ports for uh, ex capacity expansion or connecting a USB UPS or connecting uh, uh, another USB drive and copying the data from. There. Okay. So we need, if I am for instance, a small business owner, and maybe I'm not the most technically inclined, um, how how can I go about the actual setup and implementation of something like this? Yeah, I'm glad you asked that question, Paul. So we at WD uh, believe that uh, a comprehensive data protection doesn't necessarily have to be complex, right? And it is with this guiding theme, uh, we've designed the product not only from a hardware perspective, but also from a software perspective, uh, as easy and intuitive as you would probably expect as a consumer product. But at the same time, uh, keep the data protection features robust, uh, uh, such as, uh, a small business would be able to take advantage of it you know, at a very affordable price point. So for instance, capabilities such as built-in backup server engine, and the product also includes 25 client computer backup licenses, which we believe is a huge value in itself. Uh, it also provides secured shared storage for everyone in the office network and outside the office network. And it also provides a, a built-in remote access, which can allow the customers, partners, uh, or remote employees uh, uh, who are outside the network to get access to the same business information that you want to share with them. Uh, and finally, the product has uh, built-in disaster recovery protection, such as uh, it's an optional subscription plan uh, through a third party called Keep Vault, uh, and customers have an opportunity to uh, subscribe to that uh, and start backing up uh, data from WD Sentinel directly to uh, their cloud storage, offsite cloud storage, uh, in a very, very easy way with an integrated user experience uh, that we're going to show you in the demo. Okay, so I'm um, really a full-featured uh, product that not only has the ease of use for somebody who's not technically inclined to go ahead and set it up, uh, but you've got some administrator-level access. You have the ability to set up client computers with the um, client software that actually comes pre uh, pre-installed on the hard drives on the on the device. Yes. And then uh, you also have uh, various levels of access that you can set up. So if you're connecting internally uh, via your business's local area network, uh, you have web access so you can actually log in once you have the device set up um, from anywhere that has internet access. You also have the ability to log in from any device that has internet access. So Absolutely. as you were mentioning, you have a, uh, if you have an iPad, an Android phone, uh, an, an Apple phone, anything like that that has your basic level of internet access and a web browser, you can actually log in uh, with your user login access the data on the, on, that's on the DX4000, uh, make changes or upload, depending on the level of access that's set up, of course. Yes. And uh, really just gives you that full um, amount of both the uh, storage and backup that's, a, that's available, so you have data security, but also the, uh, the ease of access for um, any clients who might be trying Absolutely. to... Absolutely. Okay. So if you are a small business owner, if you need more storage space, if you need the ability to connect to the, to the data to protect the data, to collaborate with the data uh, via anyone who's involved with your business, then the Sentinel DX4000 is definitely the way to go. Uh, again, guys, we are going to have a very in-depth overview of how to set up this device, mm -hmm. also how to access it um, from the administrator perspective as well as from client uh, perspective. So I will be posting some links to that um, probably somewhere up around here as well as in the video description. And uh, Vinit, I want to say thanks again for stopping by today. Thanks for having us. And uh, thanks to all of you guys for watching. If you'd like to see more, you can check out our New Egg TV YouTube channel. If you want more information on the WD Sentinel uh, DX4000, you can head to the Western Digital site.
Yes, so you can you can go to newagbusiness.com, which has a pretty detailed information about the product, or you can connect to Western Digital's uh, website, which is wdc.com, uh, and look for WD Sentinel product. Okay, so some more resources available for you guys out there. Uh, thanks again for watching. I'm Paul. This has been Vineet with Western Digital, and we'll see you next time on New Egg TV.